This is called over the top. Now over the top affects a huge majority of golfers. And I've got to tell you a little bit about why it happens. So there's a couple of main reasons to do with the body as to why you might be coming over the top. So the simple test I want you to try is this. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a golf club, you're gonna put it across your chest like so. You're gonna get in your setup position. Now here's the trick. I need you to keep your shoulders perfectly still. Now watch my hips. Can you do this? Keep your shoulders perfectly still and separate your lower body from your upper body. If you can do that, good news, we can fix your over the top. If you can't, it's gonna make it difficult, but I'm gonna show you some things to enable you to still fix it. So here's the key. What happens with over the top and why it's called over the top is in the golf world, a lot of times we'll have a club shaft and when we analyze a golf swing, we draw a line along this club shaft that extends through our body. Now, ideally, as we swing back to the top, our lower body separates and the club shallows. It shallows down so that this shaft is slightly on my forearm plane. Then, as I push against the ground and my hips clear, the club comes down in front of me and I deliver the club from the inside to the golf ball. But when you have over the top, here's what happens. You go to the top of your backswing, but instead of separating your lower body, which shallows the club, you can't do that. You turn your upper body and your lower body together. When you do that, you can see the shaft move out over the plane. As a result, we are now over the top, okay? Now, if I'm over the top, some people call this steep, but now the club is attacking the golf ball from outside to inside. Whenever this is happening, depending on the club face, the ball could start to the left and keep going left, or it could start to the left and curve dramatically to the right. This tends to get worse as the club gets longer. That's what over the top is. So here's a few things you can do. If you failed this test that I showed you earlier, if I put my club across me and I can't separate my lower body without this moving, if you're doing this, that means you've got a a disassociation issue between your upper body and your lower body. So here's what I want you to do. To fix your over the top, we need to shift your plane so that it's further behind you. So you're gonna bend over a little bit more. From this position, I want you to get your lead arm underneath your shoulder plane. This is called a one plane swing. You'll notice my arms are much deeper. As a result, when you turn this and this together, your arms will now come down from the inside and it'll stop you coming over the top. Now, if you're one of those players that is just coming over the top, but you have good disassociation, then what I would suggest is putting a head cover down, take your normal setup position, start your backswing by making sure the club feels like it's working out over the head cover. And on the downswing, I want you to shift trying to feel like your upper body is a little bit more closed. This will allow your arms to come now from the inside and it'll change your path more from in to out. So again, I'm gonna to go to the top of my backswing. I'm gonna feel as I change direction that my chest stays closed to the target. This will allow the club to shallow. This will get me swinging more from the inside and it'll help fix that over the top.